Hi, welcome to helicopter training videos. In this video we're going to cover vibrations. Helicopters have a lot of rotating parts and vibrations, they're inevitable. Possible causes of vibration include blades being out of balance or track, or maybe damaged, worn or loose components, or pilot-induced aerodynamic situations such as transverse flow effect, and we'll cover those aerodynamic situations in later videos. Excessive vibrations can cause discomfort, but also possible damage to components, including critical sudden failure. New or sudden increases in vibrations are a definite cause for concern and the pilot should make an immediate safe landing. See the link uh, at the end of the video to the AOP accident review uh, if the reason isn't obvious. Vibrations can be categorized in various ways but a good place to start is frequency. So we'll focus on frequency with respect to the R-22 helicopter and also mention differences for other helicopters low frequency vibrations. Usually the main rotor system has the slowest RPM of all rotating parts and so has the slow or low vibration associated with them. This would be felt through the cyclic, maybe the seat. The R22 main rotor is about 530 revolutions per minute which is about 8 to 9 revolutions per second. Low frequency vibrations are often uh, expressed in N per rev where N equals the number of blades. For example Pilots of two-bladed helicopters like the R-22 are used to feeling a normal two per rev low vibration of the main rotor system. Main rotor vibrations are further defined as either lateral or vertical or both if you're unlucky. A lateral main rotor vibration would be the feeling of a sideways rocking and a vertical would be the feeling of like an up and down bump. Mechanics try to adjust pitch links, hub weights, tip weights and trim tabs to reduce these track and balance issues as they're known. I have know uh, of a helicopter that had such bad um, low frequency vibrations that for a short time it was hard to read the flight instruments. It was fixed by a mechanic doing a track and balance. Medium frequency vibrations. In the R22, medium frequency vibrations are associated with the engine. Often hard to feel due to dampeners, etc. But the R22 engine has a 2,652 RPM at 104%, uh, and that equates to about 44 revolutions per second or vibrations per second. Um, this doesn't work, this medium frequency doesn't work if you're flying a turbine powered helicopter which has a much higher uh, RPM of its engine. So, in a turbine powered helicopter, a medium frequency would be associated with the tail rotor. Uh, that's also how the FAA knowledge test uh, wants the question answered. So if you see a question asked in the FAA written and it says what would you associate with medium, you would say tail rotor because it's assuming that you're flying a turbine engine helicopter. High frequency vibrations. In the R22, high frequency vibrations would be associated with the tail rotor system and they would be felt through the pedals perhaps. The R22's tail rotor is rotating at about 3,400 RPM, which is about 56 uh, revolutions per second. And then, very much like we just said, if you're in a turbine aircraft, or if you're being asked this question in an FAA written test, then when it asks about high frequency, we'd be talking about the engine, because the turbine engines run so much faster. Let's have a quick look at what the R22 pH, POH has to say about uh, vibrations. So the, if you go to section 10 and you look in the safety tips, number 7 talks about a change in the sound or vibration of a helicopter may indicate an impending failure of a critical component, make a safe landing, etc. etc. And if we look at the uh, safety notice 39, a little bit later in that section, it talks about if main rotor vibration increases or becomes severe during flight, make an immediate safe landing, do not attempt to continue flight. You know, so they said if main rotor vibration increases because there's always going to be some uh, amount of main rate of vibration. Okay, for more information, you can go to the Helicopter Flying Handbook from the FAA, uh, the ASA Helicopter Oral Exam Guide, ASA Private Test Prep, and remember that the high and medium frequencies are a little bit different for the test than they are for the flight of the helicopter in the R-22. Then you have the R Robinson R-22 POH safety sections, uh, a safety tips section and safety notice section at the end. Uh, all the POH that you fly. And then you have the AOP accident review that I talked about. Uh, we'll put the link in here and in the description. It talks about how an increased vibration led to a critical failure. As always, we look forward to any feedback, any questions, any comments. 
and I look forward to getting another video out to you soon.